In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where PowerShell is not opening or working on your Windows computer. So there's actually a couple of different methods you can use to fix this. The first method is by heading over to your start menu and searching for settings. From the settings page, you need to use the search box to type in optional features and then click on optional features. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll have related settings. Click on more Windows features. And from this window, we want to scroll all the way down to Windows PowerShell 2.0. Make sure this option is checked like so. And if you click the drop down arrow, you also want to make sure this folder has a tick in it and then press OK to save these changes. Once you've done that, we're going to head over to our start menu, search for PowerShell and then right click on the Windows PowerShell and select run as administrator. And you can check to see if it's now fixed your issue. If it's still not working, head back over to your start menu and this time search for CMD and right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. In this window, type in start space PowerShell and hit enter. And you can see if your PowerShell window will open from here. If it's still not working, come back over to the command prompt and this time type in SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. This is going to perform a full scan of your system to check for any corrupted or damaged files. So you'll just need to wait for this verification to get to 100%. Now, if you've tried all of these steps and it's still not working, the last solution is to head over to your start menu and search for Microsoft Store. From the search box at the top, type in the word PowerShell and hit enter. Then you want to click on PowerShell and just download the application like so. And this is an alternative PowerShell application that will let you run PowerShell commands. And it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.